up is up it is four o'clock in the morning and i just arrived at my house from work um tired as shit but i was having a conversation with a person earlier and we we're talking about some deep shit because that's how i do i get deep so we were talking about people and you know and i just wanted to share a thought with you guys I feel like there are two different kind of people in this world. There are negative people and there are positive people. I'm not going to say real or fake because you can be fake and be real. I mean, you can be fake and be positive. You can be real and be negative. So I'm just going to say negative and positive people. Um, negative people are toxic okay i'm not sure why they're negative i'm not sure like i'm not sure why they choose to be negative i have no idea but all i know is you don't need them i sure as hell don't need them um i'm gonna tell you right now i'm a bitch as, i'm a i'm bitchy as fuck i'm a total bitch if if you're negative, if you bring negativity to my life, I will cut you off. I do have, I do not have a problem doing that. Trust me. Um, I feel like I'm not gonna have somebody in my life that drags me down. Um, brings, you know, if you, if you feel uncomfortable even being in the same room with that person, or you can't even. You know, even the thought of them, anybody who has a hold of your life is negative, and you should definitely not. Oh my, tell me why this motherfucking shit right here looks like a person, and I just fucking got scared like a motherfucker, like, seriously. Anyways, that is real right there, oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel so stupid on camera too. But you know what? I'm not even gonna take it out because y'all motherfuckers just saw that shit up and close and personal. But basically, get rid of them. You don't need anybody negative in your life. Do what makes you happy and fucking filter out the negative, filter out the fake ass people. People can appear to be real. Okay, because we've all been tricked, because we all got a fucking heart. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't give a shit. There ain't no radar to detect fake ass motherfuckers. If a fake ass motherfucker is a good actor or a good actress, they're going to trick your ass because at the end of the day, we have a heart and people want to believe in other people. So we're going to let our guard down for the wrong people sometimes, and that's where you learn. Don't ever let somebody tell you they could tell a fake person from a real person because that person is just a person who got hurt and who got fake people, you know, who got tricked by fake people, and now they think they're experts because they've just been through mad shit. Don't listen to nobody. The fact of the matter is that you don't know if you're getting fake, but there, there should be signs. Um, there should be signs. I mean, if they're bringing negativity to your life, the first sign of negativity, you definitely cut them off. Um, you know, and I'm not, this is not even towards family. I'm not talking towards family. It can, it can go for family, friends, and relationships, but I'm basically talking about friendships and relationships. They're toxic. Those negative people are toxic. You don't need them. Don't go chase. Another thing is don't go chasing for friendship and don't go chasing for relationships. Because when you do that, that's when you get disappointed. That's when shit doesn't go right. That's when you the real fakeness comes out. Because you're not seeing people. That's when we get tricked. When we don't see people for who they are because we're chasing that social you know, that relationship or that friendship. So we don't realize that they're being fake with us. You know what I mean? But we really need to start evaluating who we let in our life and who we cut off. I only have literally two close friends in my life right now. Um, my circle is very small because I don't trust motherfuckers and I don't let anybody negative. You have to be super fucking happy and positive to be in my life because as y'all already know from my YouTube videos, I like to talk shit. I'm real as fuck. I like to joke around. I'm very raw with my content if you don't like it. But then again, my friends are real too. They're real raw with their content too. They don't hold no filters and shit. So that's how I like it. But they're real. Like I don't there's no fakeness there. There's no fakeness there at all. I've known them for many years and I've never, you know, um, 
never changed on me. You know what I'm trying to say? I'm learning lessons from other people that, um, you know, did trick me and um, I did fall victim to the fakeness. But that it is what it is. Um, I'm still just growing and getting older and realizing that. I don't mean to be rubbing my eyes and looking tired, but damn, that really looked like a fucking face back there. But basically, just do what makes you happy and live happy be positive bring positive people into your life bring people who are going to add to your life you know who are who are there for a purpose not who just want to be around to be nosy to be talking about you it's just because they're bored or you're convenient for them because they you know they want something for you don't fall into that you know and just take your time before you I mean you can have acquaintances and stuff but really take your time when you want to you know jump into a relationship you know just or, or call somebody your friend you know what i'm trying to say because the fakeness is real and the negativity is real uh, nowadays everybody's negative i don't understand it um i walk into places and everybody got a face like like like, be the fuck happy. Like, you're breathing. You're fucking alive. Like, love fucking life because that's what you have. And you're going to fucking go... You're going to die being negative as fuck. Like, that is so... That's just not me. I don't live like that. And I was having this conversation with somebody. And I'm like, fuck that. I don't want nobody negative in my life. And I never will have anybody negative in my life. And... That's because I'm gonna keep myself happy. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, you know, my, keep my my kids happy. But my kids don't need to be around that fakeness, and that's what it is. Like, just make us, just, just do what makes you happy. That's my advice. This is just something a little rant that I wanted to go on because, uh, you know, I was having this conversation with somebody, and I was thinking like, damn, like mad people are negative like i just wanted to give y'all some advice that if you have somebody who's weighing you down and being negative and treating you badly or taking advantage of you just let their ass go don't feel bad about it because if they ain't looking out for your best interest don't look out for their best interest sometimes we got to be selfish up in this motherfucker because if not we're gonna live our side we're gonna live with them having a hold of us like just a hold of us like fuck that let them go like i don't give a fuck who you are let them go if the fucking pope came right here and fucking <laughs> let me not even get that but anyway you get the drift of that it don't matter who the fuck you are if you're negative in my fucking space and in my life you are getting cut because i like to live my life happy positive and that's it. So I hope you guys take that advice. And I told this person the same advice. And I hope that it helped y'all out. I just got back and I am tired of shit. So I'm about to go to bed. Um, I'm not sure. I will have a video up tomorrow. Not sure of in random topics. Um, I'm going to try to get an outline of certain things. But there should be one video at least every day. If not two, if I surprise you with some topics. But... Yeah, anyway, subscribe, please share um, the video, subscribe, like it, um, and that's it. I know I keep saying um, but I'm tired of shit, so yes, I will see you guys tomorrow, and good morning, good night, I guess. Bye.